Were you always leveraging broker dealers for raising the LP partnerships early on? Was that accredited investors and Reg D offerings? And then it morphed into the 1031 world and really needing to leverage BDs more and more. Yes. Talk to me about that journey. Sure. Yes to all of the above. So we've always dealt in the broker dealer world with uh, Reg D offerings, and it's always been an accredited investor. The the nuance that I would say that uh, changed between the LP offering and the 1031 is that there are investment reps and broker dealers that are more 1031 centric than just a typical retail investor. So so an somebody that's coming out of uh, relinquished property. I think it's a lot of referrals by word of mouth. And, you know, now we've got Google. And so I think people do actually find uh, reps when they start Googling 1031 uh, transactions and, you know, wh what am I going to do with my money now? Because that's a challenge for a lot of people. They've, they've sold a $10 million, you know, strip mall, and now they've got to figure out what to do with that money. So uh, they need the typically new advice.